Good day, good day, guys, and welcome back to Persona 3 Portable. Now, this is a full moon episode, but not only that, we are going to be getting the last party member of the entire game. Because, yes, Ken, in fact, was not the last party member. Let's just do Mutatsu's thing, it's not going to rank up. But this is going to be a very hefty, hefty episode. It's going to have a full moon. It's going to have another trip to Tartarus. The school's going to be coming back on Tuesday, as you just saw. Film festival's still going. We got lots of stuff in the fucking box right now. Look, another, another person went missing. Because of course they did. So we're doing all of this in this video. Now, I'm going to vote Mitsuru again. Oh, no. <laughs> we won't go up to two pot on station. Oh, man. This year's going fast. It's already second semester. It's more Junpei stuff. Next year, I'll be a senior. <laughs> that girl, she's drawing again. You again. Oh. Um, well. Uh... Hey, at least you remembered ya. I mean, that's calls for success, right? You celebrate that. I mean, I'm surprised you remember me. Yeah, look at that. We have the same. We have the same mindset. Same here. Ooh. Well, you kind of stand out in that dress. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> okay, so here's something that is related to this. Where I worked, right? There used to be this one chick who would come in. She'd come in in like fucking knee-high fucking boots. She'd come in in like black fucking. She have like all black clothes. Fucking, like, net fucking leggings and shit. Fucking nets on her arms. Fucking goth chick, right? She stood the fuck out in my town. <laughs> Let me tell you, she stood the fuck out. She was kind of hot too, but any <laughs> anyway. <laughs> that's what I mean. It's like, the clothes. It's like, oh, that's an interesting outfit. And then you look at her and you're like, damn. <laughs> damn, man. So what are you drawing? Nothing. Why? Uh, no reason. I was just thinking, must be nice to have something you're really into. It's no big deal. I only draw because I like to. Oh, yeah? Still, I I'd like to see it when you're done, okay? Bro, Junpei making the moves. Hmm. Oh. He'll stare at Junpei as he leaves. But little does he know! She was with Straga. Is she a part of Straga? Who fucking knows? But she was with them nonetheless. I'm almost done my homework. Every year, I wish I finished my work in July, but somehow I never actually do it. What if I jump as and even started? I can beg all we want, but I'm not gonna let him copy off mine. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be Ken, isn't it? Now that I've joined C's, I see you all differently. Do my best as a C's member. Serious expression. Nope. It's Mitsuru. It's gotta be. Can I have him? We have more manpower. Although he's still a child. Zero sense of pondering. No! It's Fuka. Is Mitsuru gonna be last? Kenkun joining yesterday was a surprise. I think he wasn't sure how to bring it up. I'm glad he's looking better now. He seems relieved. Yeah, look at that. There's mini arcs going on in the background that make people up for the movies or not. I love this game. <laughs> you wanna go with me? Sure, that sounds fun. I was actually thinking about going because the theme today seems interesting. It better be an academics or charm theme. This will be fun. Luke seems happy. At least they get some points. What's the theme? Science fiction! Come on! It has to be knowledge somehow. I always wonder what they meant by hard science fiction. The last time I passed by Svita, I asked the ticket clerk. He said, it's a science fiction story that could really happen. Maybe it's just me, but I'm not really interested in movies where people can travel in time or cast What? <laughs> You're no fun. You don't like fucking uh, Harry Potter or Doctor Who. What the fuck? What is wrong with you, Fuka? Get out. Get the... No, no, Fuka. I'm revoking your friendship card. Get it. Get out of here. I'd rather see movies that make you think. 
Ten years down the road, this could happen. What, like fucking, uh, like fucking zombie movies and shit. Like, oh, this did this and this happened. Like the way everything around you gets more and more high tech. That's my favorite kind of sci-fi. What, like Alien? Oh, I bet you like Alien. I mean, that could happen. Oh, sorry. I got a little carried away. We still haven't seen the movie yet. I hope we get good seats. Come on, please. Think about the near future. Charm! Yes! Look at that! The witching! Wow, that was amazing. I wonder if our civilization will even ever advance that far. Did you see that iron? He got rid of wrinkles on their clothes in half a second. That's what she focuses on. To get that much heat out of an iron so quickly, you'd probably have to keep it charged. Though it wouldn't have to be with electricity. It could be a gas hybrid. Or maybe they have a totally new energy source. But how would they power the iron with it? They're using fusion cores. And they're... <laughs> they, they, they have a... Uh, Domesticated robots and future-powered cars, and then the world gets nuked. That's what happened. They, they just watched, like, the Fallout movie. S sorry. The movie got me all excited, so I got carried away thinking about it. Let's see another movie together sometime. I'll go back to the door. Very worth it. Now we have Max... Greetings. We have Max Charm. One week remains until the next full moon will appear. As expected, the lost are increasing in number. Since I now have max charm, I'm gonna keep an eye out for old mate in here. Nah, he he'll spawn on certain days. I don't know what days, but on certain, not certain days, but certain dates, he'll spawn. Because I think at this point, he'll give me like an 80 dodge or a 90 dodge with a fucking extra bonus on it. Hey, is there anything I can get involved in? Ah, uh, that's for you to discover. Yeah, you're right. I have to discover it on my own. Look at him, she's making him want to do more stuff. That's cool. My weapon of choice is a spear. It's hit rate is high, but the damage it does is minimal. I have to attack enemies little by little. Please don't get mad if it takes me a long time to defeat them. You're a medic, mate. Calm down, at least you actually hit your targets, although I'd argue Yukari's a better medic. <laughs> no, we're not there yet. Someone needs to look after Ken. Can you do it? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'll take care of him. Good, I'm counting on you. Okay, that was very simple. I should do my homework, still have a little left. I don't think Junpei's done any of his. He better not ask, <laughs> he better not ask the copy miner, I'll smack him. I'll smack him one. Some vacation went soon. Did you finish all your homework? It's gonna be a full moon soon. Hope you're prepared to be busy again. Oh no! Actually no, I don't think the tests are on like straight away. Okay, school links will still be open. Oh. Akiko Senpai has been acting really strange lately. Must be having a hard time with Kenkun fighting in the battles. Akiko Senpai is very kind, which is difficult to tell from his appearance. He looks fine to me, Fuka. The fuck you on about? Alright, Papa. Fuka to walk. Hmm. I just got points for Fuka though. Okay, you know what? You know what? We're at that point in the game where I need to start optimizing my links. So I'm gonna save, do the walk, reload the save, and then do Mutatsu. That's my plan, because there's going to be like two more Night Links opening up in the near future that I want to focus on. So let's do the walk, here we go. Woof woof woof. <laughs> Koro-chan seems happy. You got around anyone else? The movies we saw were fantastic. Look, fucking carryover! Oh, I love this game. I'm glad I went. I'm thinking about trying my own all-night movie marathon now. I'll rent DVDs of all the movies I missed out on and watch them all back to back. That's the kind of thing you can only do on summer vacation. Hey, I recently did that with the Alien movies. I got this fucking box set and it has like the fucking... Has like the fucking alien egg on the cover. It's oh, mate. It's, it's a nice box set, let me tell ya. Spoke with Fuka for a while. <laughs> Whoa, Koro's done. Wow, Koro-chan, you're just covered in mud. I'll give you a buff when we get home. 
So I go back to the dorm. So it's just with Fuka. Alright, we walked the papa. Now let's do this. Is it a mid link? No? Yeah, it is. Well, at least we got points, you know what I mean? We gotta optimize. In these stages of the game when we're getting shitloads of night links. But look, one week left, you know what that means. Your room, sense of familiar presence. Hello. You gonna rank me up? I thought I'd remind you. The next full moon will be in one week. I can read the top right corner, mate. Are you ready? Yes. Only a few trials remain. I know. <laughs> so be careful. I I, I won't. I, I'll be reckless. I look forward to seeing you again. I don't. Unless you rank me up, Pharos. <laughs> oh. I like how the start of the series I was insulting him and now I'm just doing blunt fucking back and forth. Film festival's almost over, I invite someone. Mitsuru, come on! It has to be Mitsuru this time. It, we've waited so fucking long. Seriously? No, it's gonna be Ken. It's gonna be Ken, it's not even gonna be Mitsuru, no! No, no, look! Look! See you all differently. Oh wait, it is Mitsuru, hold on! Oh my god, look! I haven't had a free dance of time, it's here at last! It's inevitable when one has a month off that there is at least one day with a clear schedule. Oh, what should I do? Who seems to be free today? We invite her. So we're inviting her. She's a little different, she ain't even thinking about the fucking movies. Huh? The movies? I just remember they received VIP tickets from a distributor. I think I'll make use of them. Alright, let's go. Look at that. Luxury life. What's the theme? Classic romance is a charm movie! What? <laughs> it's been my first time seeing a straightforward love story. Should be an interesting experience, shall we, Anna? What the fuck? See many kinds of love. As well as how to find love. A academics for a charm movie! What the fuck? A love movie? I mean, I'll take it, obviously. What was that last one? Eternal love? Isn't it quite a coincidence for the man to find her when he had no idea where she was? And why would he wait until the last moment to announce he's secretly a, secretly a prince? Just saying, I wasn't able to tell you, is poor storytelling. It's a crucial piece of information. And the ending stopped right when the prince and the woman settled down. What about after that? And if they showed the real life of royalty, I show you wouldn't have been a happy ending. She's so cynical. She didn't show the most difficult parts. Oh, oh, she couldn't relate. Look at that. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be so critical of a movie you want to see with me. Just couldn't help but compare it to my own life. She's so like hyper detailed. She's the kind of person to be like, oh, in Dragon Ball when. Tien, Yamcha, and fucking Krillin, and Piccolo are all dead. Why didn't they learn Kaioken, and Spirit Bomb, and fucking all these moves? You're the kind of person who'd go on a fucking four hour rant about that. I suppose I enjoyed it on some level, since I was able to relate to the characters so strongly. So it seems a little embarrassed. No points with her, because she, she, her link ain't open yet. Oh, hello. If you notice, those people, the lost, they've been increasing. Which shows something I can do. Don't worry, Ken. You're on my team for the next boss, mate. Hey, Mitsuru, any thoughts on the movie? Some vacation ends soon. Oh, you're, you're such a stickler. Come on. Okay, Papa, is this a normal link? Mitsuru can go with you tonight. It's a walk. Okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save again. <laughs> I'm gonna save again. Because Mutatsu's also open. If I like the contents of this walk, I'll keep it canon. You know. I'm a Mitsuru fan myself. Woof woof woof. Koromoto looks happy when he's here. Must be something akin to a hometown for him. I said some things earlier today. But now I think I've had time to calm down and think about it. Look! It's a fucking movie talk again. These movies did have their chance. Look at that. Does that seem our character for me to say something like that? <laughs> so quietly, Mitsuru. 
say no points again. It's so painful. It's down playing. What? Are you satisfied already? Well then, let's go home. So I go back to the. Oh, that was like wholesome in a weird way. No. But I want to. I want to up the. No. Okay. No. 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 Wait. Yes. No. Who should invite someone? The last day of the fucking movies. Oh no. Oh no! Me and my friend Tetsu put on station. So, we meet again, huh? Oh no, he's trying his luck. That's because you keep coming back. <laughs> yeah! I'm Junpei. What's your name? You live around here? Fine, fine. Ignore me. I'm used to it. <laughs> Damn. Uh, hey, wait. Your hand. What's with that cut? You're bleeding. Blood's dripping from her wrist to the ground. Oh no. What is it with you? Why don't you mind your own business? Oh, look at that face. But you're bleeding for crying out loud. I, I think I got a hanky here. She's pissed off. Give me your hand so I can tie this over the wound. Why are you in such a panic? Are you crazy? Anyone would freak out over this. You need to see a doctor. You want me to go with you? <laughs> you're weird. <laughs> you're weird. <laughs> oh, that delivery! What was that delivery? It was so blunt. Oh, you're weird. No, Jupe, no. Chidori. Chidori, like fucking Sasuke's move. Chidori. <laughs> oh man. That's my name. You ask, right, Junpei? I'm almost done with the picture. That's a badass name. Can I just say that? That is a badass fucking name. And not even just because it's a fucking Sasuke move. It's just a cool sounding name. Chidoi! I doubt you'll understand it. But if you want to see it, then you know where to find me. Well, it'd be like Yusuke's painting of Mamanos. You know, like the first one where it's all dark and evil. So what sounded like? In the last video, Chidori left without looking back. Junpei, you're getting into some crazy shit, man. I'm gonna be fucking real. Junpei's still falling around. Let's get some of the homework or he'll be in trouble. As for me, I'm all done now. Time for some fun. Let's see some Rayway plans. She finished on the final day. So it would be Ken. Ken would be the final one, wouldn't he? Yep, today's the last day of summer vacation, right? Well, since it's the last day, I was wondering if you had any plans. I was curious, it's no big deal. Seems like he wants to say something. Oh, wait. His will probably be courage. I'm almost certain his is courage. But there's no links on Monday, is there? Is Michael on Monday link? Ooh, Michael is. Ooh. Oh, no. Okay, okay, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna save again. I'm gonna keep the Mitsuru walk. That that was like wholesome. It was like the first time Mitsuru opened up the Minico. I like that. So let, let's take Ken to the fucking movies. Yeah, but look at this. Everyone I talk has something to say now about the movies. I had a great time yesterday. I've only ever seen employee previews before. Never had the chance to see movies start to finish before. So about the extra tension we got because of my VIP tickets. Anyway, thank you for inviting me. Look at that. We're, we're cracking the shell, so to speak. I really enjoyed myself at the movies. With so many films on one ticket, the price ended up being very low. Is a Iwatodai the only place that holds festivals like this? Well, <laughs> there's no such thing as a movie festival in Persona 4 and 5, so I guess so. Hello, Minako Ninja. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, she's recovered human-like. Look at this, there's so much character development. Alright, Ken, let's go to the fucking movies. Sh sure. It's gonna be courage, but wh whatever. I'll, I'll keep it. Superhero movies, like The Avengers. Wait, what movies came out in, like, 2009? Were the Amazing Spider-Man movies out by then? I have no idea. I know the games came out in, like, 2014. The monster on that poster is from Ammo Badman? Eh? Uh, I wasn't really looking forward to this, you understand? 
I was just bored. Boy, we passed the time. Look, he's trying to act like an adult, even though he's a kid. Oh no, it's starting! Quick, we gotta get good seats for the movie I don't want to watch. Like seeing the years transform a number of times. Make sure as you can transform yourself. Super Saiyan Minico! Super Saiyajin! So they watched, uh... They watched fucking, uh... Battle of Gods. Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods. That's what they watched. That... That was so cool! Oh, did you see the part where our bowman got cap captured? The part where he was in that underground prison. But Mara Signal came to help. And had him tied up. The bad guys were about to shoot him. But then the whole team... Um... Anyway, what's on the scene? Pretty good. But it's all fake. Yeah. Had a lot of fun. Thank you for inviting me along. Yep. <laughs> you can fake it all you want. You're not fooling me, kid. Soon the moon will be full again. I think that goes without saying, but pre please make sure you're prepared. Ah, uh, will do. Junpei seems depressed. He probably gave up on finishing his homework. Nah, he's just in thought. Chidori, huh? She's definitely a weirdo. I feel like you're the kind to like weirdos, you know, you're one of those, you're one of those blokes. I mean, fair enough. Why am I going out here? Fair enough, right? Fair the fuck enough. Here we go, normal Koro Link. Let's do it, let's go. Wolf. Oh, it's playing like emotional music. Koro seems happy. We're at the shrine. Half. I'm just coming from the direction Karma is looking in. Woman you've seen before. Oh, it's her! She came back! My, this dog. Seems to recall this woman who told you about Karma's past when you first met him. So this dog's still here? Oh, haven't you heard? The priest, who, the priest he used to take care of this dog. She repeated the story you told before. But if he's still here, you must not be able to forget about that priest. I feel kinda sorry for him. If only there was something the priest used to wear them would help take his mind off his master's death. Too bad there's nothing like that I can think of. Oh, it's on my way to go by Miso. Well then. The woman left. Wine. Aww, sad papa, I sing patiently. Ah, uh, where with you? Almost staring up at you. Oh, so wholesome, man. My heart's melting. <laughs> oh, animals. Oh, Karo went back to the shrine. Naganaki shrine. It's a quiet night with no one around. Aru. Karo howled towards the shrine. Other dogs return the howl from every direction. Ah. Uh, saying hi to the priest. Oh, Karo's sitting quietly facing the shrine. You can't understand Karamara's speech. He feels if you've come to understand him. Oh my god. <laughs> bro. Bro. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking cry again. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! We gotta save that for the ending. That's when it gets real emotional. Ah. Oh. Karamara's turn around and look at you. It's been a quiet moment. Oh my god. <laughs> Wake me up when September ends. Yep, we're in September, second semester. Is it new music time? It is, listen. It's the new music. This part's kind of weird, but when it's over, it gets pretty banging. Here we go, listen to this part. The drop. Oh, it's very upbeat. Here we go, conversation. Good morning. Summer vacation is over. Yeah, I'm in no mood to be here. That's why I'll turn around and head back to bed. Huh, might come down with that apathy syndrome. Then you wouldn't have to worry about anything. No, are you kidding me? Although, come to think of it, don't sound too bad. Maybe I'll try it. Haha, <laughs> are you serious? That sounds wrong. So, no more time. The song time, it's gone. Not forever, but it's gone. I prefer it to this song, but this song is pretty nice. Quiet down, summer vacation's over. Back in school now, so act accordingly. Now let's review. Minico! We call phenomenal or logical resistance is zero. 
Ah! <laughs> yeah, hit me with this. Okay, so absolute zero isn't like freezing. Like if you're fucking cold and everything's freezing, right? So no. That sounds kind of alright. Quantum hole effect? Quantum physics? Uh, maybe? I don't know. Superconductivity. Electricity conducts. So things that conduct electricity would make it not be electrical. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick this. Oh, excellent. Been studying, I say. Superconducting materials, zero electrical resistance. As a result, electric current can travel eternally through it. Many years ago, I tried to use this fact to confess my love to someone. What? I love you and superconductive, I told her. Sure enough, she liked my enthusiasm. We started to. What? What kind of pickup line is that? The enthusiasm is very scientific. I lost interest in it before long. Wolf. Alright, in the next section. Damn. Feels bad, man. Fucking charm for that. Come on. Here we are. We're back. We have so many characters to catch up with. Like Sayori. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Some. You saw me too simple in a bathing suit. Like a shame. Did you get any pictures? <laughs> what? I'll sell you one for a thousand yen. A thousand yen each. Fine. That's a bargain for what they truly were. I need three copies of each. One for me. One for my records. And one to show other people. Hand them over. The toy will be or sign up for the revenge request website. So you'll get a hitman hired on Minico. But I'll give you fucking bikini Mitsuru pictures. Oh, this is what we've returned to, ladies and gentlemen. We've returned to fucking Gecko Khan High, full of fucking whack jobs like this. So I just went, pulled a hermit persona, because I actually didn't have one, because we haven't done this link in so long. Let's do it! Since we went to the movies with her, this should actually rank her up. Did you do these? No students came to the library, or almost. Hardly anyone stopped by. Been like that this since this morning. Uh I wonder why. Oh, oh no. Me and my student enters. She quickly turns around and leaves. She left. I wonder. Is it my fault that nobody's come in today? <laughs> what did you do? What do you mean? Um. I think I stand out a little. And again, that's an understatement. Very smiles weakly. No one talks to me. No one responds when I say hello. They're not actually doing anything to me. So it's not like being bullied. Like, everyone's really distant to me. Oh, if they see you with me, they might start new rumors. Ah, uh, let them talk. Minico John. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, fuck them. Fuck the haters. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the haters. <laughs> oh good, you're here. Picture space left in the news I was talking about. Could you write something really quick? Oh yes. But what should we write about? Is there anything you want to write about in particular? Not really. Oh really? Hmm. All those kids saying. What kids? I did some research in the articles I thought students would like to read about. Apparently, Love Advice columns are very popular. We pop some fake layers and answer the questions. Love Advice? I know it's the lowest common denominator. That's what people want. So what the hey? Counting on you two. Oh yes. Miss on Onishi leaves. Oh, the manuscript? That must be it. So he pulls out something that looks like the newsletter manuscript from the stack of papers on the table. A lot of space left. Can we write that much? <laughs> At least we can half pass it. We'll just have to try. Yeah, you're right. Then let's get to it. Um, love advice. Sounds like a realistic problem someone would have. Ah, uh, all of these? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Actually, wait. Considering what happened with her, that one's probably bad. That one's also probably... Let's do this one. I see, so it's stuff like that. It's no use. Can't think of anything to write. 
Okay, I'll write the title and work on the layout. Can you write the article, Minico-chan? Okay. Thank goodness. I don't know anything about the sort of thing after all. My personal experience is I'm worth shit. Oh, she cussed! I'm worth shit here! <laughs> shit! Ha 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 ha. Sorry, I just want to try cursing for once. How did a dude I say that right? It was great. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Ah, so wonderful. I'll say what I want. Speaking of four tail it's a wonderful feeling. So I thought when I was watching you. <laughs> Must have been envious of you. Thanks. Who smiles and seems refreshed? You're not sure if you said sorry, but if you feel closer. What the fuck? That came out of left fucking field. Jesus Christ. Well, Minico is canonically cussed now. That's fun. Let's get to work on that article. What should the next letter be about? I'm in a long distance relationship and I miss my boyfriend so much. That sound believable. <laughs> Did you somehow complete the article of the newsletter? He went back. Jesus Christ. What's going on? Ran in the jump and walked in with him. What's going on now? Garen Kenna seeing my lounge looking fidgety. Oh, you're back. Perfect timing. Perfect timing? For what? Yeah. Hey, Fuka, is Igus ready? Oh, I know what this is. Your response, Fuka and Igus came in. How does she look? This is how I look. Look! <laughs> Are you cosplaying? Yes. I am cosplaying. <laughs> no, you're not, I guess. She said she wanted to go to school, so I said something to Mitsuru Senpai as a joke. But the chairman overheard and thought it was a good idea, so as of tomorrow, she'll be a junior. Bro, this guy. Seriously? He's down with that? This guy's doing some whack stuff. He said something about studying her behavior in a social environment. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it's a great idea. Just look at how cute she is in that uniform. Yep, priorities. The camouflage Fuka-san has provided me with seems to be the appropriate size. It looks very natural on you. No one will suspect a thing. But why does he want you to go to school? It's not like there's anything special about it. I mean, I wouldn't exactly call her camouflaged, considering the fact that <laughs> she's got like a metal head brace thing. Oh my god. With the commencement of the second semester, I intend to synchronize my schedule with the other members. If I were to remain here on standby, it could delay our deployment. Therefore, I request to accompany our squad leader. Oh, here we go. Delay our deployment? Won't you going to school create more problems? <laughs> oh no. It's not as bad as Teddy or fucking uh... Mona, I think. <laughs> I don't know who might be worse. I will make any necessary adjustments as problems arise. Uh, yeah, you do that. Bro, so much is happening this episode. <laughs> There's so many things happening, it's insane. He said, I want to go to school too. Yeah, Woofa, we'll put it, we'll put Woofa in the bag, in Minako's bag. <laughs> He'll just stick his head out, no one will notice. Sorry, Korochan. You have to stay here. No! Sad Papa, how dare you? No, he's gonna be by himself! Oh. No, look at him, he's a woofer. Oh, look at her. Like a best outfit. I have a question, Minako-san. Why can't Koromaru-san attend school? I do not understand why I am permitted to go to school while Koromaru-san is not. Uh, because he's a dog. Actually, no, I don't know. It is so difficult of a question that no answer can be given. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who's your car? What are you doing? If she wears somewhere, everyone will be able to see a mechanical arm, so... Besides, she should wear winter wear. I don't think anyone will find that suspicious. Hmm... Just say she's, I, I don't know, I, I don't know, just say she fucking has problems with the fucking cold or something. How can I help you? I gave Igus some winter clothes to wear so she's covered up. 
I hope she won't be too hot in them. Oh, she can actually overheat, so... I told the chairman that I guess she'd come to school with us. Really couldn't think of a reason why she shouldn't. And the chairman agreed. Uh... <laughs> okay, gun-wielding, grenade-launching fucking battle droid, you can come to school. Dude, I think she's really cute. I bet there'll be tons of guys who are gonna get a crush on her. The way she walks. The way she talks. Oh no. I had nothing to do with this, alright? It was all Mitsuru. If anything happens at school, I'm not gonna be held responsible for it. Ugh, what is akutsuki san thinking? At least he's level-headed. Hey, Miniko-san, what a Is this- Ken seems a bit nervous. As a leader, maybe you should be friendly with him. It's his social link. Pause. <laughs> I see. Pause. 9-1 is when his link opens? Yes, spoiler alert, he has a link. Wait, okay, yep. <laughs> Let's just do it. Let's do it. Wanna get some food? What? With me? But... And seems has about going out together with you. However, you manage to overcome his reluctance with your dauntless courage. This is the link you need max courage for, by the way. So you know how I just max courage like a week in game week ago? Yeah, very handy. Literally unlocks this. What did I strip more? Wakatsu restaurant. It's our fourth out of five night links. Both rushed in just before closing time. Um, thanks for the food. And begins eating. Gradually begin to eat faster and faster. Uh, were you hungry? Oh, uh, I guess so. Seems a little embarrassed. Can I resume shoveling food into his mouth? Very polite. Look at him. Seems you were mesmerized by Ken eating, barely touch your own meal. Yeah. The fuck you doing? Aren't you going to eat, Minako san? Uh, <laughs> you can have mine too. Of course I am. Well, please do. You're embarrassed if I'm the only one eating. Ken begins eating quietly. It's just not the same. When my mum was still alive, we never really went out to eat much, so I never knew what it was like. Guess my mum was really good at cooking. When I ate stuff like box lunches from the store, it just tastes horrible. I never told my mum that she was a good cook, so he has regrets, I say. He has regrets just like all the other characters. Oh, sorry. This is really good. If you don't mind, I'd like to come in with you again. Um, that is, if you have time. Uh, <laughs> kitchen, be so modest. Uh, I'll ask you out again. Yeah, I'll look. F I'll look forward to it. And laughs like a child. You've, you've drawn slightly closer to Ken. So what link? No, I know his link. <laughs> I nearly forgot. Oh man. So, this is Ken. He is the Justice Link. So, I actually... I think it's Chihiro. We met Chihiro in Makoto Ra... Ah, uh, not Makoto Ra, shit. We met Chihiro in the Emperor Link in Hidetoshi's Link. I think she's Justice. Don't quote me on that, I could be completely wrong. But, in this game, it's Ken and Chihiro, possibly. In Persona 4... Oh my god, I can't remember. <laughs> in Persona 5, it's a catchy. That's it, in Persona 5 it's a catchy, and in Persona 4 it's... No, I'm googling this. <laughs> I'm googling this, hold on. Okay, shit. I just had to google to make sure I wasn't pulling a blunder. So it is Chihiro, and in Persona 4 it's Nanako. Which I somehow forgot. I haven't played Persona 4 in fucking ages, but it's Nanako. And in 5 it's a catchy. So there you go. The first one I properly blundered on. So Justice. I think we already have a Justice Persona. Um, it's okay if I order something to drink. I'd <laughs> like some milk. Large, please. What's wrong with milk? I love milk. <laughs> Milk's my favorite drink, like, actually. Oh, here we go. We're, we're near an Akihiko day and a full moon. I see. This must be Tartarus during the daytime. <laughs> oh, no. That's right. Currently, I detect no shadows in the vicinity. However, we must remain cautious at all times. Oh, this is gonna be a fucking mess. 
Classroom till F. Time for morning homeroom. Class, we have a new student who will be joining us. She just transferred here. Please introduce yourself. My name is Igis. I am pleased to meet you all. It's over. Igis. What a strange name. I wonder if she was born overseas. This tour and begin look through the transfer students' records. Let's see. Anything else I should know? Hmm. Humanoid tactical weapon. What on earth? Oh no. <laughs> Who the fuck wrote that? What? <laughs> oh, this side by side, they look so fucking similar, man. A lot of people think that she's actually Yukari's mother, which is wrong, obviously, but fuck me. That it was it was on purpose they made them look this similar. Clearly that's a mistake. It just goes to show. You can't believe everything you read. Yeah, exactly. You can say that again, Teach. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. You can sit, um... Are there any open seats? Thorium cast your eyes over the classroom. Oh, that seat's open. I'm right next to her. Thorium points a finger right one of the seats. That one should be fine. Uh, Miss Toriyumi, that spot's already taken. He's just playing hooky. Which means he's not here. Ooh. So it's free to be used, right? I just been saw a seat next to you, because of course she has. This spot will be perfect. My highest priority is to be with this person at all times. I guess poker face. Poker face. Not off to a great start. <laughs> My, aren't we just full of drama today? Oh no. Do me a favor and save the antics for after school. Yeah, get this fucking... Get these weird things out of here. Eesh. These weird topics. Oh no. This ain't the normal lunchtime. It's from Makihiko. I have something important to take care of after school. I want you to... <gasps> I know what this is! <laughs> I'll be waiting by the gate, meet me there. Oh, oh no, oh no. I'm not ready. I guess you see me instant message Rocky and Kazuya and me about the school. You should go to the Desi and me place. Well, I guess it's right there, I want to speak to her, no. School gates. An annoyed Akiko's waiting for you, oh no. Oh, there you are. He's annoyed I haven't romanced him yet, what? Who said that? <laughs> <laughs> you said that. There's something I have to do, and I want you to come with me. Ah, uh, all right. I keep carrying a suitcase. Where could he be taking you? Oh yes, yes, it, it's happening. What did I strip more Huggy Gray Ramen? This where Akiko wanted to go. You're getting on my nerves. Yes. The situation has changed. Sorry, but this time I'm not asking. I'm telling. What? This belongs to you. Akiko thrust the suitcase was holding out the Shinjiro. Uh, we have a new enemy. They're persona users like us. I mean, we've had them for a while. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so what? And there's more. Ken Amada has joined our team. <laughs> oh. Oh no. That's alarming. That's a very concerned looking sprite. What the hell are you talking about? He has the potential, and Akutsuki san is okayed it. He's now a persona user. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> yeah, they have history. Oh no. Let me ask you one thing Was it his decision to join Seas? Yeah, he volunteered. I see. Then count me in. Oh, mate. So you're the one leading the operations now, huh? Yep. Since you're a turtle, will you look to win the eyes? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no, it's starting. If you don't mind me asking, what exactly are you fighting for? Uh, loot? Money? <laughs> I have two million yen. Uh, hmm. To protect someone. Is that so? Well, you do your thing, I'll do mine. Yeah, fair enough, mate. Is my room still vacant? Yeah. Sheesh, another girl? 
first meet Suru, and now her? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Hold on a minute. So what? She might be a girl, but she's one hell of a... Yeah, I can shoot my head with, with the best of them, mate. That ain't my point, numbskull. Oh, no. I'm saying you gotta keep an eye out for her. Honestly. Oh, look, he cares. Holy shit. Here are new allies joined. Shinjiro Aragaki. He is a year older than you and seems to have lived in the dormitory before. Let's still shout your mystery. He seems like a reliable partner. Bro. <laughs> Woofer. It took the day. Granted, it took the day. But it was worth it. Can we have a look? <gasps> yeah, look, level he's level 37. See why I granted 37? So he is a completely unique party member in the entire series, look. He has no resistances but no weaknesses, and he starts with regenerate and he only learns physical moves. That's it, he doesn't learn any magic. At all. Every single move is a physical move or some kind of status effect, none of it's magic. So he's, he's, he's very reliable when it comes to just Fucking face tanking everything, because he has good HP, he has good endurance, he has good strength, he has a fucking auto heal, and nothing can crit him. So that's Shinjo, that is the full C's party, right here. This is every member that will ever join C's. We have all of them now. So this, this is exciting, oh my god. Let's see what everyone thinks, Junpei. Shinjo sand kicks ass, man. If him back on the team, no one can beat us. That's the guy who helped us out of that place, right? So he used to be a member of C's, huh? Seems okay, doesn't he? Yeah, <laughs> more than okay. Oh no. How can I help you? Shinjiro Senpai seems scary, but I think he's just misunderstood. I don't think he's a bad guy. I mean, he's good friends with Akihiko Senpai. Well, you are, I guess. Koromaru-san told me something interesting. He said Shinjiro-san has been feeding him from time to time. Look at that! He's got a heart of gold! Anyone who feeds the pupper is good in my book. Shinjiro-senpai seems very strong. But is he dependable? I mean, it was at that place and... Guess I'm just not very trusting. Oh no. No, we're not there yet. Look at him! This is the first time we're seeing his sprite in the overworld. Well, you better not fall behind. We're gonna take it easy for today. Starting tomorrow, call me whenever. Yeah, tomorrow's a Tartar's trip, mate. Truly, I'm glad to have you back, Shinjiro. I can't help wondering what motivated you to pick up your vocal once again. Something must have affected you profoundly. I won't ask you now, though. I appreciate that. Maybe someday, I'll be in the mood to tell you. Oh, I've been waiting for this day, Shinji. I'm ready to bow right now, in fact. You're as hot-headed as ever. It's like a Saiyan, it's like a Saiyan thing they got going on. They're fucking like Saiyan rivals. Okay, Koro open again, but here's the thing. I want to go to Tartarus tomorrow, but I don't want to spoil anything. Maybe we won't be able to, so I saved just in case we have to go tonight. But yeah. Oh, it's an actual rank. Okay. It's probably mid. Mid link. No? Naganaki Shrine, Wolf. I'm seems happy. Uh-oh, no music. Angry papa, gah. Kamara suddenly start growling towards the shrine. Oh no. You hear voices. I heard this place totally haunted. Come on, let's go in. No way, I'm scared. You're up some funny, aren't you? Damn it, it's locked. Guess we'll have to break down the door. What a bunch of fucking hoodlums. I'm trying to break in the main temple. Bark. Karamo darted towards the voices. Yeah, bite him! Gah, what's with this dog? Gah. Where's the cops in the pound? Said you- Hey! No! No one's touching my papa! Finally caught up. Uh... Isn't this a crime? Oh, stay out of this, you brat! Uh... <laughs> you stay- no, you stay out of this. Oh, what? What's the problem? Come on, let's just go. Ah, oh, hey, wait. 
<laughs> Minuko hit hit them with the no you. Go. Karo's on Gazi watch to leave. Ah, uh, you should have bit them. It's all right now. Whoa. Karo's wagging his tail. In case you seem to have done your part, protect the shrine. Ah. Oh. Karo's nuzzling you. Oh no. Is it Karo's thanking you? Minuko hit them with the old one two no you. <laughs> the one two no you special. Wolf. Karo's tugging you on so you decide to continue walking him. Okay, we're near. Oh. A, a lot's happened. I can't even commentate on all of it. Oh my god, more stuff. Wait. Yeah, this is why I waited. Look, it's another missing person. I knew there was one that baited you on like the last fucking day. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Okay, this music's different. Hello, Mitsu. Good morning. You must have already heard this on the news, but the number of incidents has increased compared to those during the last full moon. I have noticed there have actually been a few more hanging around. Like in the in the streets. Uh do we know why? Yeah, let's be, you know, pragmatic. I do not know. We just have to remain alert at all times. Because the shadows are upping their ante. They're getting stronger as well. Igus? Jump out. Stop Igus. I have inspected the entire school, but I did not locate anyone suffering from apathy syndrome. Should I conclude that they are absent? <laughs> God. Yep, no social link, even though she's here. Junpei. Were you listening when she was talking about the culture festival? Yeah, I was listening. Dude, cafe's so lame. Why don't we do something fun? Like a heavy metal cafe. Oh, that's coming up. Oh, that that's... For people who know, that's going to be a thumbnail in one of these videos. You, you, you know it when you see it. Okay, so I just pulled a priestess persona, but let's look at some of the self stuff. Okay, sexy lance. No, I can't buy any of that. Who's Shinjiro? Heavy axe. An ogre hammer. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those fucking just massive damage characters. I'm not gonna buy any of those. What have we got in here? It's Shinji and Kantuxes for actually kind of cheap, but. The, the defense rating ain't the greatest. What else can we do? Accessories. Should I just make it so Shinji never dies? Should I just give him a HP ring? Yeah, let's do that. Fuck it. As for Ken... Hmm... He has low endurance, doesn't he? Does he have better endurance than Yukari? I mean, I'm not that concerned on SP. Uh, let's give him endurance. There we go. Everyone's topped up. Okay, Fuka, it's been so fucking long. Let's do it. Cooking club. Um, I'm thinking about making rice balls again today. This is the only thing I can make myself, so I want to master making them. What are you going to make, Minako Chan? I actually ran out of a lot of these. Let's make sugar cookies. I think I'm out of those. I don't think it matters, but <laughs> here we go, two more. Fuku's standing and doing nothing in the desk far farther away from you. This? The rice. It's all soggy. The rice cooker that Fuku's on is filled with brim with rice. The consistency of the rice is more like porridge. Did I put too much water in? I just tried to make rice and I ruined it all. What a waste. Seriously, I'm hopeless at everything. Oh no. Finger downer. Ah, uh, these are both good. That's not true. But. Thanks. Yeah, calm down. But what should I do with this? It's so much rice. It would be a shame to waste it all. Ah, uh, it's rice porridge now. It's still edible. Oh, that's right. It doesn't have to be made into rice balls. Huh, I didn't even thought of that. It seems relieved. Oh, you're right. We should just have rice porridge. I have a lot of pickled plums. Here you go. This is your share, Minako Chan. Thanks for the food. <laughs> this is good rice porridge. Thank you, Minako Chan. 
Who's just laughing cheerily. I feel like you've gotten closer. What's that rank 7? We're so close. I, I can't believe Mutatsu caught up to like Yukari and Junpei and Fuka. Just because of summer vacation. That's insane to me. I can't believe Koromaru caught up. We literally unlocked him like two videos ago. I didn't know the amount of water you use would change things this much. Oh, I should write that down somewhere. Let's see. Pay attention to the amount of water when using when cooking rice. Who is eagerly taking that? At least she's into it. Cleaned up the room together and headed back. So we're finally doing school links again! Oh, and you welcome me! Yeah, hello! <laughs> Haven't introduced myself, have I? I'm Shinjiro Aragaki. Don't worry, I've got your back. Um, there will be a full moon the day after tomorrow. I'm sure another shadow will appear, so please be ready. Oh, we're more than ready. Look at him, he's so badass! I'll join you guys. I used to be a member of Seas, and I'm your senpai, so you can count on me. Oh, I know I can. Speaking of can, or can, Ken and Koro both open, but we're not doing evil, we're going to Tartarus tonight. Shinjiro, Akihiko, and I were all in Seas when we were in middle school. A lot of things have happened since then, but there's no need to doubt Shinjiro. I assure you that he's reliable. It's going to be a full moon soon. You should probably get the team ready to go. If you're looking for a change, you should add Shinji to the lineup. You'll be surprised by his strength. It's no big deal. <laughs> oh, Saiyans. Alright, let's go to Tartarus. Okay, look at our fucking party now. We have been completely overloaded and flooded with members. In a very quick time span. They're all like just sitting in this little area. So let's take Ken. Okay, I'll do my best. Let's take Shinji. Alright, count me in. Look at him, he's so cool. Okay, last person will be Yukari. She needs the most XP out of everyone. Alright, let's go. Bro, look at Shinji. I forgot I was in this outfit, by the way. I feel great today. It's not waste time. Let's go. Well, don't treat me any differently. It's annoying. I fight how I want to fight. That's it. I heard that Shinjiro-san used to fight Wakihiko-san and Mitsuru-san. He does seem extremely strong. There's something about him. Wakihiko-senpai looked so happy when he found out Shinjiro-senpai was coming back. He must have a lot of trust in Shinjiro-senpai. Ooh, a purple shadow. This is the perfect fucking thing to test them on. Look at him! I can't, man. He's... Oh, no. I, I like how I'm ignoring Ken, by the way. <laughs> okay. All members direct commands. Let's just whack them. I'm not scared of these things. Here we go. Ken. Ken's turn. Alright. Let's have a look. Palma. He's got a medium pierce with knockdown bonus. He's got Zeo, and he has medium heal. What are these weak to? Wind. Ah. Uh, Ah, uh, you! Oh, you can't use it. Just whack it. Fuck it. Loot him. Stabs it. Stabs it with his fucking spear. All right. Well, this was a quick battle. I didn't even get to use Shinjiro. No. Oh, you can see that cutouts, cut-ins though. Look at him. Look at Shinjiro. Oh man. I love it. I love it so much. Look at his fucking HP, by the way. See if you really wanted to. Well, that's a weird persona. If you really wanted to, you could have waited until getting Shinji, and then just knocking the block out right now. You could have waited till this. Because then you would have had Koromaru, Ken, and Shinjiro. You would have had a full fucking team to use on this block. So, yeah, that's a thing. That's definitely a thing. I think it's kind of crazy. How over flooded with party members you get. Oh, this a Ken. This a Ken moment. Look. Come. Oh, now it's Shinjiro's turn. What? Yeah, look, he just has that to start, but it does so much damage. Let's just whack it. Look at this. Oh, crit! Look at that headbutts it! <laughs> look at him. Look at that! Oh, no. He's so cool, man. There's no way. 
He's like, he's like the Akechi of this game when it comes to like the cool factor. Like he's been, he's been teased throughout the whole game as coming back. You want to see what he can do. You're curious. Not this a can enemy. Here we go, look. Ken's time to shine, he's cut in. Yeah, look at that, don't underestimate him because of his age. Let's see if we can get Ken crit. Yeah, look, look at this. Watch this, watch this. <laughs> Little spin. Little spin knuckle. Now it's Kara's move, Ken is his own spin knuckle. Oh, I can't, I can't. It's like my favorite part of the game when we have everyone. It's just so cool, man. Okay, here we go. Found the first person. I actually have no idea how I'm going to do the thumbnail for this video. I have none. Because usually I do, when I get a new member, and like they fight for the first time, I put their cut in in the thumbnail. Oh, look. I put their cut in in the thumbnail, you know, like fucking Ken just had his cut in, like a few minutes ago. Oh. Major's mark, I know what that is, that's like an auto SP thing. But yeah, fucking, I put their cut in, in the thumbnail, because it's cool, it's like a cool thing. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's like, I don't, I don't know what to do here, because there's going to be a full moon boss, there's going to be fucking lots of shit going on. Like what? I could I could make it Shinjiro's cut in, I could make it Ken's cut in, I could make it a picture of the full moon boss. I could make it a picture of fucking Shinjiro, Ken and the full moon boss. I don't know what to do. Maybe when I use them in the next like big Tartarus run, I'll make it their cut ins? Maybe. There's like I, I don't know, it's, it's hard. It, it's gonna be, it's gonna be rough. Oh, here we go. Sitting man. That's person number two. Still one more to find. Oh my god, I found a gold shadow. What the hell? A rare form. Destroy it. Okay, 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 calm down. Should I? Let's try this. Look, there's his shoot animation. Oh. Yeah, we'll try not to. Oh my god, she actually hit it. Okay, we killed it. Fuck me. And here's the last person. A little bit of Tartarus spelunking before before the main event. Okay, that. Is everyone rescued? So let's go one more day. It's an Akihiko day, by the way. <laughs> one more day. Sup, dude? There's a full moon tomorrow. You remember? But this time will be tougher than the last. Uh, that's what I heard too. There's only four shadows left. Maybe they're getting desperate. Or maybe the next one is just insanely strong. Oops, uh, I shouldn't jinx it. Well, we can handle it. Yeah, we'll see. I I'm pretty confident myself. Oh no. More Junpei stuff. Found Tatsumi for on station on Junpei's way home. Yo, Chidori. Chidori! How's your hand? I don't see anything. I, not even a scar. Did it heal that quickly? Oh. Hey Junpei, what do you do to make yourself feel alive? Uh, I don't know. Breathing, I guess. <laughs> you know, I never really thought about it before. How about you, Chidori? Is that why you draw? Maybe. But most of these are just scribbles. I don't understand myself very well. I see. To tell you the truth, there is one thing that makes me feel alive. When I get to play hero, in the darkest hour, unknown to all but a few, the chosen ones stand against the forces of evil. Junpei, are you gonna spill our secret just to be a fucking sick lad? <laughs> is that what you're gonna do? Our hero, Junpei, fights to protect the world from these terrifying monsters. You tell them the wrong person. <laughs> well, you get the idea. That's when I feel most alive. Hmm. Um, 
You're supposed to laugh. So, do you fight all alone? Oh, oh no. <laughs> she's getting fucking... In she, she's inquiring. It's over. Hey, I, I, I was just kidding around. You fight during a time that no one knows about, right? Oh no. So then, no one knows what you've been doing either. That means you'll never receive any recognition. She knows how to, she knows how to play him. I'm impressed. I didn't know you're that kind of guy. Look, she's smiling. She likes it. For real? Oh. You actually believe me? For real? Tell me more. You really want to know? No. Okay. But don't tell anyone, all right? It's over. Mm -hmm. You see, there's this special power called Persona. And only those who have it can defeat the monsters. That's what I meant by the chosen ones. He, he, he fucked up. Mate, mate, he fucked up. My friends are fighting too. And ever since I joined them, we've been kicking some serious ass. Sounds like fun. Oh, I don't know. The first smile might have been genuine, but that one. Mmm. Are you the leader? Because it sounds like you're pretty strong. Oh no. Uh, yeah. Hey. I, 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 I guess you could say that. <laughs> you barely get fucking picked. I picked you during the Karamaru run out of fucking pity. <laughs> out of pity, because I haven't picked you in ages. I mean. <laughs> Without me, things would just fall apart. Mm. Someone's got to be in charge, after all. It's pretty tough being a leader. I mean, we have plenty of physical attackers in our party now. Oh. Thank you, Junpei. I had fun today. Thank you for the information. I'm going to murder you now. You, you did? <laughs> oh, no. It's time for me to go. I'll see you tomorrow, right? Oh, I wonder what's tomorrow. Oh, God. It's starting. Chidori left. <laughs> Tomorrow, huh? All right. Junpei, think with your head. What, like your 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 main head? <laughs> All right, think with your fucking brain. Don't, don't, don't die because you're horny. Please, I've seen so many fall to it. So many good blokes, even mates of mine, they fall apart. Because they're horny as fuck. <laughs> don't. Don't do it. Oh. Class has ended. He, he just gave us all up. It's over. Yes. Please. Look. Oh my god. I can't. Look, it's an actual rain cup. It's been so long. Wild duck. Inside the restaurant's busy. Minako. There's a table over. Open over here. Man. It's crowded in here. Is there a promotion going on? That reminds me, the other day Mitsuru. No, I want a milkshake. Small boy sitting with his family next to him begins screaming. You already said you wanted to have juice. You can't have both. Mother voice getting loud as she hugs with a child on no. So we should put your ears are hurting. What should you do? Ah, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna get something else. Oh, really? Can you get me some coffee while you're up? Akiko hand you some money. <laughs> okay. Seems like Akiko was about by the commotion at all. And you come back to the table, the family next to you is getting up to leave. Yeah, piss off. Old scream slowly proceeds into the distance. He was full of energy. Akiko is absentmindedly watching them off. Uh. Hmm. He's just a child. And you shouldn't hold it against him that he's acting like one. That's very pragmatic and correct, actually. <laughs> okay, I guess suddenly falls silent. So did the music. Oh no. Minako, do you think I'm strange? Oh, here we go. You're charming. I don't know if this is a required one to romance him. I think it might be, actually. So pick this if you're romancing him. You're charming. That's not what I asked. Yeah, look at that. Three points. Sometimes people tell me that I'm a weird guy. Or that I act kind of strange. Normally, I wouldn't let that kind of thing get to me. But back in the day. They said I was like that because I didn't have parents. It's not that I could do anything about that. That's why I wanted to show them that they were wrong. 
that doesn't matter now. It all happened back when I was a kid anyway. I mean, the orphanage was no bad either. Akika smiles gently. Oh, sorry. I don't think I ever told you. I don't have any parents. My sister and I grew up in an orphanage. My sister's long gone too. That reminds me, you don't have parents either. Ah, oh, sorry. Shouldn't have brought that up. No, wait. I think that might be why I wanted you to hear what I had to say about this. Because I think I can depend on you to understand me. Yeah, look at that. I can smell smells Riley. You like you understand me a little better. Yep. Minico's the only one who can understand you. The way you want to be understood. Rank 6. Here we go. I honestly thought we were a bit higher than that. I'm sorry for talking about this sort of thing. We should start hanging back. Look at that. Oh my god. So, Akihiko. Oh. Believe it or not, his link is going to be unavailable after the next rank up. And y you'll see why. Let let's just <laughs> let's just continue. Tomorrow is finally today. I'll make sure we win, no matter what. Alright, so what everyone thinks. Look at Shinji. Shinji and the papa. Give me space when I'm fighting. My aim's not that great, but if I hit an enemy, it's history. I don't play around. I'll destroy whatever whatever's in my way. <laughs> I'm here if you need me. No, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> no, I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. I, I might later, but I'm not going there now. <laughs> okay, Kutsuki, hello. Who coughed about tomorrow's operation? What, with Shinjiro Kunri joining us? I've no doubts we'll be victorious. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Such confidence can only lead to certain failure. Well, shoot, Shinjiro is quite powerful. He hasn't fought in a very long time. We must all concentrate on the task at hand to perform with flawless execution the win. Ugh, must you always be such a killjoy. Yeah, Mitsuru, fucking quit bringing down the room. Why is Yori so excited about tomorrow? It's going to be a full moon tomorrow. I don't think there's anything to look forward to. Let's see, I think I, I know why. What's up, Minako? Being a hero is so cool. I can't wait till tomorrow, dude. Oh, yeah, he, he, he's, he's done. He's thinking, he's thinking with his fucking penis. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. <laughs> oh, I didn't think he could get any double, but hey, do you think we could just replace him? I mean, Shinjiro Senpai just joined us, so that's a great idea. Ah, uh, I was just kidding. I don't really want to replace him. I just wish he wasn't so annoying. That's a fucking mood. Junpei-san's current status is extreme happiness. I have learnt how people describe that state in modern language. He has gone to La La Land. <laughs> He's gone to fucking Cuckooville. Okay, here's me. Oh, wait, wait. Oh my god, look who's here. Okay. So, you want if you're playing Portable, you want to talk to this character. He's Portable exclusive, and I'm also curious if he appears in Reload. But anyway. Means he's those is drinking by himself. Huh? Looking for someone to chat with? Alright, tell me, if you have a dream where you're falling? Uh, yes! Really? I wonder if it's true about the rumor that you don't wake up before you hit bottom, you die. Forget it, sorry, shouldn't have brought it up. I've been having the weirdest dreams lately. Jeez, what's wrong with me? Why don't you head on home instead of wandering around a place like this? Well, you're a kid. I always wanted to see what this kind of place was like when I was your age too. Haha. <laughs> So this guy, th this guy will be like a reoccurring character we check up on every now and again. And we'll see why by like the end of the game. But let's do Mutachi, let's see if he'll actually rank up. This is my second visit to him. Nah. <laughs> nah, he didn't rank up. He's so fucking stubborn, man. I have other S-Links to do at night. Mutatsu. <laughs> God damn it. Good morning. There is a full moon tonight. Leave it to me! That's nice to hear. I was getting worried because it's so soon after summer vacation. Fuka, we grinded the longest we ever did in that summer vacation. Powerful shadow, turn the dorm. Here we go. Shit's about to get real. This is one of the more intense full moons story-wise. 
Meanwhile, in front of the dormitory. Man, she wasn't at the station today. Oh no. Maybe I should check again. What Strager up to? Yeah, on second thought, better stay put. The operations tonight. Now that I think about it, we're fighting to protect her too. Dude, that's so rocks. Maybe we really are like heroes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not taking you against the boss though. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Don't move. Uh oh. Huh? Wait, that voice. Oh, that was the sound of swords and shit. Okay, Junpei just got fucking jumped. He just got fucking jumped! Oh no. He was just starting to feel confident and everything, and then she fucking backstabs him. Typical, typical chick. Don't you come in. Who can summon Lucia and is searching for the Shadow's presence? The others are here waiting for her to finish, except Ken, who has left to look for Junpei, so he's missing. Tonight marks the sixth full moon. Do you detect a shadow? Yes. It's, it's near, near Polonia Mall. Mall. I think. For some, for some reason, reason, I can't quite pinpoint its location. Can I say that Fuka is probably the coolest, uh, navigator? I don't know, I like her more than Futaba and Risei, but fucking sue me, <laughs> alright? Sue me. But I'm trying to narrow it down. I just find it cooler how she does it, she like fucking just chills wherever she wants to chill and searches for shit, you know? Is that its power? I don't know. I mean the UFO's cool until you realise you're in Mementos and there's no way the UFO's floating above you. <laughs> you know what I mean? We have enough to go on. Ken came into the room, bro. Shinji's here. Did you find Iori? I can't find him anywhere. His backpack isn't here, so I don't think he's been home yet. <sighs> that idiot. He knows tonight's the night. I don't sense him anywhere nearby. Should I take more time to look for him, just in case? Is it like Dragon Ball with you, Fuka? Do things have, like, power levels, and if something's stronger than something else, the stronger thing just... The, the weaker thing can't even be sensed because it gets overwhelmed, is that what it's like? No, it's okay. You're all young. Sometimes you just get in one of those moods. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Anyway, we should focus on the task at hand. Oh. We can't afford to waste any more time. Let's go. It's go time. Wait, did he say anything earlier? Shinjiro came to talk to you after everyone left. Uh, not that I remember. Alright. Ooh. See, he cares. Shinjiro left somewhere with a friend. He cares. He, he, like, acts like he doesn't, but he cares, right? He's such a good character, man. <laughs> I can't. This whole episode just gonna be Shinji praise. Polonium, oh, look at the blood red fountain. We're playing Outlast now, outside the female ward. Who could searching for the shadow's location? Detect anything? Only a faint presence. It seems so close, but why? Oh no. Alright, let's split up and search for it. There's no time to lose. Hurry. Wait! Okay, Yukari and I will tackle the clothes store. <laughs> Yukari and I will go to the clothes store for no reason. Uh, you all can search the other places. I'll actually go to the police station and steal those, uh, steal some of his stock. Please, give me a moment. This is my responsibility. Oh, look at her. She wants to prove her worth. Who seems to be concentrating intently. Tell me, Lucia, what is this thing that deceives me? Bro, she's so cool. Like, she's the coolest. Fa All the characters in this game are the best. <laughs> I can't. Hear the wind's answer in your ear. Listen to that. Oh, man. Touch the earth's answer with your fingertips. Taste the water's answer on your lips. Look at that, she's doing hey, like poetry. Is she okay? Yeah, she's like role playing. Don't break her concentration. She's role playing. Right beneath our feet, some kind of webbing? Uh oh. Perhaps it has something to do with the old power cables underground. They were just left there when the island's construction was completed. Power cables? Yes. 
They run underground in many directions like a web. Yeah, that's safe. And they're interfering with her ability? Thank you, I guess. I understand now. Interference isn't the problem. The cables themselves have been possessed by the shadow. They what? So, it's underneath this whole area? Now it all makes sense. H how are we supposed to beat something like that? <laughs> oh no. Meanwhile on the dormitory roof. We didn't even check the fucking roof. Do we know if cameras up there? <sighs> oh, look at that sprite. I can't believe how easy it was to sneak up on you. Are the others here just as oblivious? So treacherous. Damn it. I can't use my power. This isn't funny. Chidori. They steal your gun? I want you to do something for me. Oh no. I have new orders for you to give to your friends. Yeah, it's freaking him out that not only she betrayed him, she's walking around during the dark hour. Cause she kidnapped him during the evening and he was probably like, alright, when it turns dark hour she'll probably transmogrify and she fucking didn't. Surely you have the capacity to communicate with them. Yeah, not long distance. We need Fuka. Sorry, love. Me? Give orders? If you do as I say, you won't be harmed. All you have to do is call off the mission. Easy, right? And not just the one tonight. All of them. You want me to cancel the mission? You're not one of them, are you? Quit wasting time. Oh. <sighs> Out of all the chicks you could have fucking got the hots for. <laughs> I mean, villains are kind of hot. We have no means of attacking it. In your notes from previous battles, it said there was a shadow that took control of the monorail. Yeah, that's right. You weren't even there. I remember that. Just like that one, this shadow must have its own body. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, don't give up yet. It's got to be attached somewhere. Fuka began to concentrate. Fuka. Even if we know where it is, we might not be able to get to it. There may still be a way to reach the structure the buried cables feed into. We'll see. I found it. It's close by, in this mall. I know it. Come on, Yukari, let's go to the clothing store. Let's go to the antique shop and get OP weapons. It's inside a small chamber underground. It's rectangular, so I assume it's man-made. Is it some sort of room? Wait a minute. I overheard the manager of Escapade. He was saying that the power's been acting up lately. There was a power outage because of it that forced him to cancel some big important event. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know what this event is? If you play Persona 4, then you probably do. Risei was supposed to do a show in Iwatodai in Escapade in 2009, but it got cancelled. So in 2011, when Persona 4 takes place, Risei has tickets to VIP seats in Escapade because of the fucking problems with the show. So I propose this for Reload. Please add Risei to the mall around this time. Just as a random NPC you can optionally find. It would be so cool! It'd be so cool because we already saw Yukiko and fucking... We got mentioned at Chie. But we already saw Yukiko. I'd love to fucking see Risei. It'd be so cool. She could even talk about shit. Like fucking shit from like a hometown. I don't know. Do it! <laughs> Just do it. It'd be cool. Anyway. That's no surprise. He said the control panel is located beneath the club. Maybe we should take a look. That's it. Good job, Yamagishi. All right. Once we're ready, we'll make our move. You won't, Mitsuru. You're staying. <laughs> okay, here we go. Certain full moons take away party members. Some people don't like that. I personally do because the story it makes sense and it's actually you know I, I prefer it games need to limit your options more in certain ways to make the story better but anyway as you can see we're in Polonia everyone's here it's all blood red and if we try to go here we can't right 
So Reload also make us able to access the Velvet Room during this full moon. But I'm not kidding, you just go in here, and you fight the boss. That That's it, there's no dungeon this time. And if we try to go in any of these places, people just yell at you. <laughs> so, okay, let's pick our team. So we're taking Shinji. You can count on me. Yeah, I know I can. Let's do what everyone thinks. Surprise the shower took over the underground cables. Ready to go. Oh, you're boring. You have to deal with the wiring? I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, because you're weak to electricity. See, that's a little hint not to take her. Doesn't matter what the Omi takes over. I'll take it down. Woofa. Yeah, Woofa. And Ken, we're taking you. Wonder what happened to Junpei son. Okay, so who's the third? Who's the final member? Third and final member? Akihiko! I have a feeling they want you to use this exact team because they all have history of each other, apparently. Okay, so let's have one final look. Samael. He has auto things. He has Masuka Kaja. What else do I have here? I have the other thing I fused. Yeah, this thing. The fucking cow goat thing. It's fucking tongue out. Okay, yeah, I got my strategy. I got my strategy. Let's go. We're leading with Samael. Are you ready? Let's go. Actually, no, let's talk to Fuka. Oh. <laughs> You're boring. I'm counting on you all. Here we go. This is the coolest boss in the game besides the final boss. The coolest looking one. Are you ready? Club Escapade dance floor. Look at it. It looks like a fucking cryptid. It looks like a fucking skinwalker. It has a giant, like, electricity main thing. It's connected to all those cables. It's connected to the fucking club floor. So be careful you don't get shocked. Yeah, it's an electric type, which is why we took Akihiko and not Yukari. Look at us, mate. Look at that. That could be the thumbnail. Oh, here we go. I just realized I forgot to give uh, Shinji and Ken dodges. Ah, uh, what can you fucking do? Okay. So here's my plan. We got Minico's auto buffs, right? So I'm gonna swap to this thing. And I'm gonna proc my party defense. Look at that. Everyone gets a defense. Fucking Indian cow gives them all defense. Here we go, Shinji. Shinji time. Oh, man, man. Let's see his cut in. Let's see his cut in. Look at that! He has the coolest card in as well! Oh, good damage. Okay, Ken, what can you do? Insta kills don't work on bosses. It absorbs electricity. Actually, yeah. Still level it is. You could just hit. No, whack it. Just whack it. Oh my god, you critted it! What the hell? You critted the boss. This is the Risa's cancelled show, you bastard! Eat this! Fucking prick! <laughs> okay, Akiko. You can lower it. We have a defense buff, Ray. Lower its defense. Yes. So we have fucking defense buffs and. Oh yeah, here he comes. Level 39. It's the same level as Minico. I'm actually the perfect level. What the fuck? Okay. Bro, look at this thing. It looks like a fucking skinwalker. I can't. Some fucking cryptid. The shadow has a lot of electricity charged up. Yeah, this one has a unique attack. Please be careful. Where it charges up and then does a big electric attack. But if you resist electricity, it fucking don't do much to you. But he doesn't fire it off straight away. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. He doesn't fire it off straight away. So, you can kind of play around. So, let's use an almighty spell. My first one of the fucking, the fucking playthrough. Megiddo. Look at this. Oh, 190. It's so powerful, but it takes lots of SP. Okay, Shinji. D just, just do this again. He has one of the coolest shooting animations too, despite how simple it is. Okay, Ken. I don't even know what Ken's resistance is. Oh no, it's a uh, fucking dark. That's it. Or light. 
Okay, now I'll just whack it again. You're the healer, you can't really do much. Aki, fuck its attack off. You're actually safe, you don't need to guard. Megan, I'd like. Okay, I think it'll attack this turn. So let's get old mate near. Oh, where is he? Here we go. Old mate, monkey man. Get him in here. Look, I've recom on him too, so if anyone dies, I can res them. Ooh. And he calls Fatal End as well. No, let. Full moon bonus! Let's use this! Full moon bonus! Perfect! Fuck you! Oh. <laughs> Okay, Shinji, you guard. Can you guard? And Aki's safe, so Aki... Yeah, fuck... Yeah, it's fuck all the stats off. Fuck you. Dodge my shit. Oh, it's still... Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Everyone's defense thing's gonna be wearing off. I'll put it on next turn while he attacks. Oh, look at the damage, man. Alright, this is the attack turn. You defend. You defend. Akiko. Oh, I wish in this game you could reapply buffs as they're still active. Like, already in effect. In the other games, you can stack them. But we can't here. So it's attack. No, it's defense will wear off. So it'll still be attack decreased. Let's just punch it. Punch it! Oh, here we go. Giga Spark. Look at this. Unique attack. Oh! Apparently, it has to charge up before using that one attack. Look at that Ultra Instinct Minico. Please be careful whenever you see the enemy charging. Funnily enough, that attack actually makes this boss a lot easier because it gives it a pattern. Because when it's charging up, it's like two turns. You just get to do whatever you want. You can heal, debuff it, buff yourself. Do whatever the fuck you want, right? Okay. Oh, I can diorama everyone. Look at that. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. I think now... Hmm. No, we want our defense buff back, so let's get old mate. Get old mate chugging in here. Oh, Mark. Party defense. Oh, look at it. <laughs> fucking... <laughs> fucking cow. Here you go. We actually have some cows near my house at the moment, funnily enough. Very fitting. Shinji's a bit damaged. He'll be alright. Can we heal him? Oh, crit! Look at this! Headbutt! Ah, look at that! Alright, let's kick some ass. Alright, let's kick some ass. Let's do it. Oh, yes. <laughs> let's kick some ass. Look at that. Ass kicking. Half health. Oh, defense reverted. Oh, what? Did I just put it back on Minico and no one else? I think I did. I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, I did. Because he's going to run out then... Oh, wh wh whatever. Shinji, have this. There you go. Hearing Ken saying that wasn't good gives me, like, DSP final boss flashbacks. <laughs> no, we're not going there, alright? Your defense is still... There you go. Alright, this is going alright. He's doing it again. Alright, he's throwing the match right now. Uh... No, no. So we're safe this turn, and I think maybe next turn, but I don't want to risk it. So I kind of want to do the most damage possible. So, Semiel, get back out here. Use Megiddo again. Massive fucking damage. Look at that. Boom. Shinji, you're right to spam fade to end. 154. Fuck me. Alright, can anyone need topping up? Not really. Do crawl attack. Fuck it. That's because I should be spamming that full moon bonus attack on monkey. On, on, on monk. And Akihiko, the buff its attack, so it can't do anything. There, fuck you. Hit ray evasion reverted. Yeah, we'll debuff that next turn. Alright, swapping to old mate. Yeah, this boss is easy. What is it with the full moon bosses being so fucking easy? What's going on? I'm on fucking maniac, for God's sake. Alright, this is the guard turn. I'm probably completely wrong, but it's better to be safe than have 
Fucking half my team get one shot, you know? Oh my god, can my dog stop barking, please? Oh, it isn't! I fucked up! Nah, it's alright. I kinda... Oh. You know what, Minico? Top everyone up! With Monk. There you go. That'll just help soften the blow a little bit. You two guard. Okay, what reverted on old mate? Nothing. Alright, just punch him then. Smack him one. You go Giga Spark. We'll take it. Look at that. Aki and Minico take it like champs. Yeah, let's keep it up. Let's keep up this full moon offensive. Shinji, you can go back to Fatal End. So overall, this is my favorite looking full moon boss. I mean, look at it, it looks like a fucking cryptid, which looks fucking sick. And I like how much party variety you get here. Oh, I wish Ken had a multi-heal. Just to steal yourself. We don't want a dead medic, that's the last thing we want. If Minico gets targeted with some attack, then someone will save her probably. So we'll be alright in that case. There you go, Aki. You debuffed the saving us here. Attack reverted. Zeo dying. Oh! Ultra and Sigminico. Firing back with the full moon bonus. Look at that. You and your damaged animation yet? No, nah, not yet, mate. You go, Shinji's a little low, but he's a tank. He'll take it. There you are now. Look at ya. You can barely fucking stand. Alright, I'm gonna give that to Shinji. I'm actually confident Minico could survive a Zeo dying with that persona. I actually am. Especially with its attack now debuffed by Akihiko. Oh, it's beautiful. If only Debilitate was in this game. Oh, Mind Charge. That's dangerous. Alright, so just Mind Charge. Minico's health is kind of concerning, so what I'm gonna do. Minico's gonna defend. Shinji's gonna defend. Ken's gonna defend. And Akihiko's going to heal Minako with his fucking tiny ass heal. Still be something. Something's better than nothing. Okay. Yowza. Wowie zowie. <laughs> Alright. Uh, do I still have my defense buff? I'm gonna pretend like I do. Until I realize that I don't. Let's just keep doing this. Let's just keep this up. It's nearly fucking dead. Which is always a good sign. Drog is so bad off. I, I can't. Okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, dear army yourself. You're not dying, Ken. I want you to get XP, you're our lowest level. Akihiko. Here we go, hit right. Give everyone some fucking ultra instinct. Defense revert. Zero dying. Oh. <laughs> 11 damage. Okay, now nah, we win. GG. G fucking G. Coolest looking boss in the game. Except for the final boss. GG! Use the right team for this. It'd be fucking stupid taking Yukari or Igus to this fight. Let's be perfectly honest. When they have a fucking unique electric attack that can fuck both of them up. Driving Morris defense now, fuck you. Attack reverted. Pierce attack. Oh, fucking whacked him with your fucking cables. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, who do I want to kill you with? I almost want to like level some of these up. Dekunda. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you some IL. Killing the coolest looking boss with the coolest looking persona. One of them. Look at it. Fly for the Sky Dragon looking ass. Oh, Shinjiro. You're gonna get the credit. Come on, mate. Seal it off. Seal the deal. Fuck you. That's Barisa, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Cancel the show. Making it so you Norikami has to fucking play King's game and... 
<laughs> have provocative things happen to him. Oh no. Level 40 Minico. Here we are. We're here now. Ken did level up, thank god. He now has a multi-heal Meteorama. So at the moment I'd say he's better than Yukari, but Yukari catches up. Buka nearly has a really good skill too. Congratulations! I no longer sense its presence. Oh, and also, I think I found Junpei. He's back at the dorm, but something seems strange. Oh no. The chairman's there too, so he should be okay. But let's hurry back just in case. This guy really not notice fucking Junpei probably screaming and shit on top of the roof. Come on. The fuck? Meanwhile, dorm rooftop. It seems they've completed their mission. Yeah, fuck you. What? You can tell? Oh. Yes, through Medea's eyes. Medea, that's a persona. Medea? My friend. So she's like Fuka, she's a fucking a fucking scout. I see. Chidori. That's not important. Why didn't you call off the mission? Is it worth your life? Oh. Dying is what people fear most, isn't it? Well, I've never actually given anyone orders before. Ah, uh, it's over. They wouldn't listen to me anyway. You see, uh, I'm not really the one in charge. So you were lying earlier. Oh. Oh. Why? Oh, she seems upset at that. Oh no. I don't understand. Why would you lie to me, Junpei? Hey, answer me this. Was it all just an act? Us meeting. Your wound, the picture. Were you just setting me up? Now that I think about it, that cut healed pretty quickly. Oh, so he thinks the cut was fake. He thinks you just did it to fake him out. Oh no. <laughs> I see how it is. Bro, he was just trying to get confidence and stuff because he had that arc in chapter 3, or leading into chapter 3. Where he gets really jealous of Minako, and he like doesn't want to speak to her because he wants to be the hero. And then just when he's starting to get over that and they make amends, he meets this chick Chidori, and he starts talking with her, and he starts getting confidence back. Like, yeah, we're really helping people, you know, we're saving the day. No one knows, but we're saving the day, we're saving people like her. They can do stuff they want, they can live their lives. And now to have this happen, it's such a fucking crushing blow, man. This game does something a lot of the other Persona games, like, don't dare to do. A lot of the time, a lot of things in this game, the other Persona games, they, they don't want to... Like, they're great games, don't get me wrong, right? But this one had a lot of guts. It had a lot of guts to do a lot of the things it does. So let's see what happens. Okay, dogs were barking again, but we found him. The jig is up. They're back already. Yeah, fuck you. Is it only her here, by the way? <gasps> She's a persona user. Oh, Mitsuru knows. Medea, come. Mitsuru still has her senses. They're dulled, but she still has them. You already pointed a gun, seemed to be an evoker at itself. Where the fuck she get that? Chidori, stop. Could be Jumpers. Ah. Oh. Jupe tackled her, causing her to drop the evoker. Senpai, get her gun! Oh! No, give it back! Sorry, but we can't let you use this. Yeah, you're fucked. We have like everyone's here, like fucking nine C's members versus you. Hmm? When did she Now he's here. He didn't realize. Did you not see us all rushing through the dorm to get to the roof? Kutsuki arrived. Despite being inside the dorm all along, he didn't seem to have noticed anything until now. That's kind of sus, not gonna lie. I guess restrain her. Yeah. Understood. Point a gun at her. Medea! Oh no! I guess restrain story. I, I didn't sense her up until this very moment. This is my only power, and yet... Oh, she feels helpless. If even Fuka couldn't sense her, then she must have some sort of power to conceal her presence. Yeah, like fucking Dragon Ball. I didn't have the slightest clue she was here. Are you a member of the group that goes by the name Strega? 
I have a number of questions for you. Oh no, Mitsuru is that type of interrogator. Watch out. I'm not afraid of dying. Yikes. Sidori! Medea! I'm... She's freaking out because she got separated from her persona pretty much because the gun got taken away. Clearly, she's emotionally unstable. We'll let her rest and save our questions for later. Shidori. Great, we have a prisoner. We have a prisoner now. You succeed in defeating the Shadow this month too. You expect there'll be fewer victims for a while. But now, a new adversary has emerged. You wonder what will happen. You're exhausted, so you decide to rest. We have a fucking prisoner now! Oh my god, so much has happened. No school today. No one's ringing me? Oh, hospital. Assume Memorial Hospital Chidori's room. I'll ask you once more. Is Chidori your real name? Yeah, interrogation. Oh, look at her. She's in a fucking gown now. What kind of organization is Strega? Are there others besides you three? She's not going to talk to you, Mitsuru. Honestly, she looks kind of related to you with the hair and the eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna be fucking honest. She kind of looks like your fucking sister. Nah. Only hey, Junpei. Junpei. Yeah, he's the only one she spoke to. Like the whole fucking game. You're not supposed to be here. Remember? Is everyone here but Minako? Like actually. Junpei. Sorry. He wouldn't stop bugging me about this place. How are you feeling? Seems like you've calmed down. She certainly has. In fact, she won't say a word. Yep. Maybe we should confiscate her sketchbook, too. Oh, that's the thing she loves. Hey, come on. What good would that do? Loose lips sink ships. That won't make her talk. Yeah, just make her more angry. I'm not so sure about that. Mitsuru, you're crazy. She was quite upset when we took her evoker. Yeah, because you separated her from a fucking persona. It's like a part of her. Speaking of which, where did you get that? Medea! Yep. Give it back to me! I want her back! Hey, I told you not to bring that up, didn't I? Then what am I supposed to do? Oh no. I'll have someone else try next time. Have Junpei do it. Why? Why did you take it from me? Medea! Yukari, call a nurse. We're done for today. Maybe Medea is like, you know, like she was drawing in that sketchbook, like all this like dark stuff, apparently. And it's like maybe Medea is, I, I don't know how to describe it. Like Medea is more of a part of her than our personas are. You know what I mean? Especially Minako, because Minako just kind of haphazardly swaps personas. It's like she doesn't really have a, a, like an attachment to any of them, but. She probably has an attachment to hers. She probably loves hers, you know? If she doesn't want the dark hour to end because she wants them to call off the mission, then she probably wants to be with her persona forever because it's probably the only thing that understands her. You know what I mean? It's like how in Persona 4, that your personas are your other selves and you gotta accept them for them to become your personas. It's almost like that, where it's her other self and she don't want to lose it because it's the only... Like person that understands her. I can understand this. I'll inform you, Kutsuki son, of the difficulties we're having. Oh, okay. This ain't calling Minako. She's a master interrogator. Come on, Junpei, let's go. Oh. Chidori, wh what happened to you? Bro, I feel bad for Junpei. I'm the only one not there, by the way. You're tired. You don't seem to be feeling well. And that's the end of this video, but before we end, let me check Tanaka's show, I haven't done this in ages. What do you got? Yeah, I haven't seen you in ages, I maxed wrestling by the way. Megiddo! Megiddo skill card! I don't know what those do, off the top of my head, but fuck, I'll buy that. I'll buy that for that price. Give me a free Megiddo. Look at that. And that's the end of this video. I can't even recap what happened. So, what did happen? Junpei and Chidori's arc got really fucking intense throughout this whole video and built up over the course of it. Fucking Shinjiro joined us. 
and we did all of Shinjiro's stuff. Can and Shinjiro got action in the field. School started back up. Igus is now going to the fucking school. That was an entire plot point. We did like three fucking Papa S Link rank ups. Fucking, we went back to Akihiko and Fuka Links after so long away. And we fought the full moon boss. The fifth full moon boss. We're now in to chapter six. Chapter six. We have the full seas party at our disposal. We now have a fucking captive of Strega. We're gonna see how this affects Junpei because he actually liked her. And there's, there's going to be a lot happening. This chapter is one of the most involved ones. A lot of shit happens, especially at the full moon of this chapter. So, th there's a lot going on in the story right now. This is when the game is like at its highlight to me. These next two chapters are like the highlight of the game. So, I hope you enjoyed this longer video. I hope you will continue watching the series. Thank you for watching. That's the end of this video. He has one- wait! Next XP one! He needs one XP to level up. Yeah, we're leaving it on that. <laughs> That's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. And see ya!